WatchOS 26 brings major changes to the Apple Watch. And in this video, I'll show you over 50 new features and changes. And I can assure you that by the end of this video, you'll learn about features that you never knew about before. Now let's start off with the new flick gesture. There is now a new gesture on the Apple Watch by simply doing like this. So now you've got two different gestures on the Apple Watch. You've got double tap to scroll down within apps or you can do the flick gesture to go back to your lock screen. Now, I find the flick gesture extremely useful if you're holding some coffee, holding your wife's hand, or maybe walking your dog. I usually always did kind of like this, doing it with the nose. I know I'm not the only one. So I can assure you that this is way less awkward than this. Thank you, Apple, for adding this. Now, before I tell you all of the new features, I just want to let you know that WatchOS 26 is being released later on this year. I am currently using the beta, and I do not recommend anybody installing the beta. Betas are meant for developers, not for everyone to use use. I just installed the beta so I could show you everything that's new. All right, next up is the new liquid glass design. We've seen Apple redesign all the operative systems from iOS to iPadOS and also now to watchOS. As you can see the time right here, it has this liquid glass type of design. If we go to control center, the control center has also been massively redesigned with this liquid glass design. There's tons of new features here, by the way. I can't wait to tell you about them. Notification center has also been extremely redesigned with this liquid glass design that I'm just obsessed with. With. If we go to the home screen, all of the icons have also been massively redesigned with this liquid glass design from mail, the timer, the workout app, walkie talkie, the photos app, the heart rate, the podcast, the home app, the sleep app, etc. WatchOS 26 also brings us a smarter smart stack. So we all know what the smart stack is. Depending on your usage, it will show up different things. But now, well, the smart stack is now contextual. So now let me give you an example. I'll open up the camera. And as you can see, I now get a suggestion. And now I can simply tap on camera remote and it's suggesting me to take a quick photo and boom, just like that. Now, Apple has given us tons of different examples on, let's say you're out and about and you don't have any cellular data. Well, it will recommend you to start a backtrack, for example. I can't wait to see how these new features will become extremely useful in our daily life. Now, by far, one of my favorite features in watchOS 26 is the revamped control center, because as you can see, there's way many more toggles now that are extremely customizable and they are open to third party developers. So now this is kind of a hidden feature, but if we tap on edit and then you'll get this new plus icon, which is brand new to watchOS 26. And now Apple has added tons of new controls in the control center. One of my favorite ones is the home app, for example. You can either add accessories to your control center on the Apple Watch, or you can even add full on scenes to the Apple Watch. So let's add a different scene, for example, and you can add my movie time. Um, scene for home kit and boom just like that now in the bottom i'll add my movie time um complication and just like that i can quickly deactivate it or activate it which is amazing but not only that let's tap on edit and go back to the plus icon you now have hearing ones you now have a new note which we're going to talk about that in just a second we have a brand new app on the apple watch which is very exciting you've got accessibility the compass notes reminders settings and different third party developers can now add to the control center. For example, if you've got a Tesla, you can literally unlock your door directly from control center now, which is incredible. This is a great example. For example, the app Dark Noise, you can add it to your control center and you can add a different timer time. For example, you could choose the noise. Dark Noise is like a white noise app. And boom, just like that, I can add it. I can tap done and just by a tap, I can add white noise on my iPhone. As you can see, you can probably hear that. A lot of people love sleeping to, to white noise during night. So it's open to third party developers. It's incredible how you can add unlimited ones. So I've added, for example, my studio lights right here so I can quickly turn on and turn off my studio lights in my studio. I've got my cleaning home automation right here, which activates my robot vacuum in my house so I can start cleaning my house with my robot vacuum just by a tap. Um, this is my bet routine one. So I've got like my two different ones. So the possibilities are endless on what you could do now with control center. This is one of my favorite features by far. So whenever I go to bed, I can just quickly, it's just the quick actions. It's basically like having an action button on your Apple watch, but it's so customizable. Um, if you want me to make an entire video about this one feature and how to make this feature in particular extremely useful, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely, definitely do it because I find the potential on the new control center massive. Now let's open up the workout app because as you can see, we're prompted with a brand new feature, which is Workout Buddy. Now let's read it in just a second. Workout Buddy helps you stay motivated with generative audio built in with voice data from Fitness Plus 
trainer. So basically, the way that it works is you simply activate it. You can choose your different voices right here, which they're basically two. So this is voice one. Way to get your workout started. And this is voice two. Way to get your workout started. And there you go. Once you select the voice that you want, you can simply tap on done. And from there, once you start working out, let's say you did a 10 kilometer run. Well, workout buddy will be like, way to go. You just did 10 kilometers. It will help you stay more motivated. Or let's say you just did the 100 workout of the year. It will let you know, hey, you just did 100 running workouts. Congratulations. I can't wait to test out this feature. It's absolutely incredible to give you pep talks or just to give you overall motivation. Next up is the revamped redesigned workout app. And as you can see, it looks absolutely incredible. It is highly highly integrated with the double tap feature. It is highly customizable for what you want to see on all four corners. You can tap on this right here and you've got different workout views. So you can select the workout view that you want. Up here in the top right is your categories. So depending on your goal, your pacer, your pace route, you could customize it right here. Inside of here is the alerts in the workout. So do you want to be alerted by pace, by heart rate, by cadence, by power, by time? You could customize it all inside of here and you could change the workout buddy um, voices inside of here, or you can just deactivate voice buddy if you find it annoying. Um, you could all customize it inside of here. And then music, which is a brand new feature as well inside of WatchOS 26. You can now select certain music for certain workout types. So let's say for running, you could select a certain playlist in your Apple Music library. And then for meditation, you could select a certain, you know, more calmer type of playlist. And Apple has also added this right here, which is the picked for you. So depending on the workout type, Apple will recommend you certain playlists rather than others. So you can see automatically play music based on what you listen to and the type of workout unless media is already playing. Isn't that amazing? And then once you start a workout, just in case you're interested, Apple hasn't really redesigned any of the views. You do have tons of them to choose from, which is amazing. I absolutely love this one right here, which lets me see the activity rings um, on the go. Something else that's new is if you dive inside of settings and then tap on sounds and haptics, this right here is also new. So Apple Watch now has automatic volume adjustment. So it will measure the sound in your room. And then instead of setting a specific sound, you can simply toggle this on. So depending on the room you're in, it will either play it way louder if it's a very loud environment. And then if it's a way quieter environment, like a library, it will put a way quieter ringtone. This is incredible because I've seen myself so many times that I'm at a dinner that is, you know, quite quiet and suddenly everybody looks at me because the ringtone is just so incredibly high. This new feature really changes the way that you use your Apple Watch a lot because a lot of people go through that. So a lot of people, what they simply do is simply put their Apple Watch on mute, which I don't like. I like being notified on my Apple Watch. So this feature really, really changes a lot on the way that you use your watch. iMessage has also gotten tons of new features, like the ability that we can now have pause and vote per pause inside of our Apple Watch, for example, whether we're choosing where we should go eat tonight. And it's super cool the way that it works, where it moves depending on the votes itself. There's also wallpapers now inside of iMessage. This is a new feature in iOS 26. So whenever somebody changes a wallpaper on the iPhone, for example, you'll also see it in the Apple Watch. And I feel like on the Apple Watch, it just looks so absolutely stunning. There's also live translation. So if somebody sends you something in a different language, it is extremely easy now to send simply translate that message automatically on the watch. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, we also get a brand new app on the Apple Watch, and that is Apple Notes. Yes, we finally have Apple Notes inside of the Apple Watch. So not only can you view your notes on your Apple Watch, you can also pin certain notes right just like that. You can also create a new note just by a tap. And dictation makes it extremely easy to simply dictate. And as you can see, it's working. It works extremely well and it's very fast. And once you want to create your note, you simply tap done and it will automatically save on all of your Apple devices. This is the note that we just created, as you can see. And it just saved on my iPhone, which is super cool. Whenever we get a brand new app, we also get complications with it. So as you can see, this is the new notes app complication. I can simply tap and have direct access to the notes app. There are two different notes complication now on the Apple Watch. We have open notes or last edit notes or add a new note. So this is one is pretty cool. So if you're thinking about something really quickly, you can simply tap this and it will generate a brand new note and it will start dictating me. So if you want to quickly remember about something, this complication makes it extremely, extremely useful to remember a thing, something that I 
definitely neat. Now talking about watch faces as well, we get a brand new watch face gallery on the Apple Watch as well. Now all of the watch faces are way better organized in different categories. For example, health and fitness, photos, clean, data rich, pride collection, dress watch, tool watch, bold, playful, unity collection, colorful, astronomy, world scripts, motion, Nike collection, digital time, analog time, and more. And then on the bottom, not a lot of people know this, but this is the way that it used to look before. All of them are right here as well. And then once you tap on a specific collection, let's tap on the dress watch one, which is super cool. As you can see, they're all super well organized right here. And then once you want to add one to your watch face, you simply tap add, select the style that you want, and boom, just like that. It's that simple now. Now, Apple did not add any new watch faces to the Apple Watch. Instead, they actually removed a couple, which I'm very sad about. Fire, water, vapor, liquid metal, gradient, and Toy Story watch faces have been completely removed from the Apple Watch. Now, this is probably due to unpopularity. A lot of these watch faces were probably not used by many. That's why Apple decided to remove them. I was personally a massive fan of the Toy Story watch face, and I'm very, very sad to see it go away. Now, the Apple Watch app on the iPhone has also had some slight upgrades for example the new liquid glass design menu bar right here which looks gorgeous the new photos watch face and the whole app in general does have this liquid glass design every menu has been massively redesigned as well and just like the face gallery was redesigned on the watch it's also been massively redesigned on the iphone which is way way cleaner to understand the way that they all work you can tap on new watch faces same as on the apple watch you can quickly add them and add them directly to the Apple Watch, making it extremely easy to download and explore all of the watch faces available for them. Now, we also get tons of new features on the phone app on the watch. From having this major redesign with the contact posters right here, to the keypad being in the top right, to the filter tab on the top left. And then you also get new features like hold assist and call screening. Now, I just explained those features way much more in depth and going over 100 new features and changes inside of iOS 26. You can tap on this or you can watch my iPad OS 26, everything that's new as well. If you found value out of this video, you could definitely hit subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.